who's in charge of investigating this? Who's in charge of making sure that the law was actually followed and that there was nothing shady going on? And frankly, I don't think the attorney general is capable of doing that. I mean, the attorney general is likely to run for governor, and he's in the same party and very close with the governor. I think it has to be an outside agency uh, that investigates this, and maybe even the FBI, to be honest with you. What up, y'all? It's Papa Z, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I just want to show you guys how corrupt some politicians can be. Uh, and that politician is Gavin Newsom. Um, he gave an exemption to Panera Bread uh, out here in California to one of his high school buddies named Greg Flynn. Uh, the exemption was uh, to not pay $20 an hour because that's the new uh, minimum wage out here in California. So his buddy... Greg Flynn opposed of it and didn't want to pay that. So Gavin Newsom went on, went on ahead and gave him, him an exemption uh, due to his buddy paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to his campaign. Uh, he's a big donator of his campaign money to his campaign. Greg Flynn, he's a billionaire. The man owns thousands of Applebee's, uh, Taco Bells, Pizza Huts, different franchises. So to me, it seems like it's some, uh, is it is it called racketeering? You know what I'm saying? Because it, it this is some type of corruption. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I worked at uh, Panera Bread and found out this information, I would walk out the job. You know, because it's not fair that other franchises like... Um, McDonald's and different places like that, they have to abide by the new $20 an hour uh, minimum wage. And Panera Bread doesn't. So what is Greg Flynn doing trying to get rid of his employees? Because I wouldn't want to work there no more. Especially knowing that I'm supposed to get $20 an hour and I'm looking across the street and watching the other franchises, restaurants getting paid $20 an hour and you guys want to stick... Uh, Stick me with 16. Obviously, there's no growth. This is a, a good way to uh, bankrupt your business. You know what I'm saying? Because you won't have any workers. Who would want to work for that? So California, um, they're investigating this. You know, because it seems to me. It's a it's a pay. You know that old saying pay to play. This is a pay not to pay situation. Pay the politician and you ain't got to pay your employees. This is what Greg Flynn is doing. And it's a shame you a billionaire. I guess this is how the rich stay rich. You know what I'm saying? And the poor stay poor. This is crazy to me. I had to come on here and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And let anybody know who lives in California that works for Panera Bread. Go in there and ask, man. Look at your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. You know what I'm saying? You, you're getting treated like a slave in Panera Bread. They said something about a they uh, some bill or something that they made and they put a clause in there. If it's a bakery who makes bread on, on site or whatever, something like that, that they are uh, exempt from paying minimum wage. They can pay under the minimum wage. But, you know, Gavin Newsom, of course, he had to come and try to defend what he, you know, what's going on. And this is what he said. Y'all listen. There's a provision in this bill that exempts bakeries, essentially, places that sell and bake bread on site. So carving out, essentially, Panera and Boudin. I wonder, I mean, what why did in the agreement did you all decide that those workers should not be within the umbrella of this i mean that's part of the sausage making that was part of 257 the original bill and we went back and forth and there was part of the negotiation it's the nature of negotiation man that sounds like a bunch of hogwash if you ask me talking about some sausage and all this other stuff that ain't got nothing to do with why you gave this man an exemption to not pay 20 dollars an hour 
You a corrupt, man. You a corrupt uh, Democrat, man. You know what I'm saying? This is going to damage what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Especially if Joe Biden can't make it through this race for presidency. They might call on you, but you corrupt. You know what I'm saying? You, I bet you're trying to clean it up now. But this ain't right, man. And Greg Flynn, stop being cheap, man. Pay them workers, man. It's $20 minimum wage. I remember when I first started working, minimum wage was like $3 an hour. Now it's at 20 Pay them people, man. They work hard in there. Those Panera Bread workers and, and, and fast food chains workers, period, work hard. They deal with a lot of customers, uh, unruly customers, fights, and all kind of stuff going on in those fast food chains. Pay them people, Greg Flynn. Stop being cheap. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, leave in the comments how y'all feel about the situation and what you think they should do with uh, Gavin Newsom and Greg Flynn. How you feel about those workers, man, having to deal with that? You know, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, don't forget to comment again. Comment, comment, comment. I love to read the comments. Don't forget to share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, protect yourself at all times. Keep your head on the swivel. God bless you. God bless America. And I'm out. Papa Z. Peace.